Hey y'all, Rhonda here. I know it's been a very long time. Sorry, I don't look a little better here, but that's kind of for a reason. I um, want to let you guys know I'm alive. A lot been going on. We'll play catch up. I have a total random haul. I mean, there it, it's all over the place. But a couple of updates. Um, I had my notes over here. Kim Gravel uh, makeup. I hauled it a couple weeks ago. And anyway, of course, I'm a little red there, but see the makeup? Okay, it is 10.30 at night. I put it on at 6 this morning. The eyeshadow, it's a stick, creamy stick eyeshadow. Um, lipstick, it doesn't wear as well as I like. I mean, it's really good. But I use Morphe, and so when I put it on, when I do all of this, I don't touch it ever, all day. I don't reapply, I don't fluff, I don't do anything. So, I mean, this is a true test for me. I did the lipstick, I did like it. But I had to reapply it halfway through the day um, with my Morphe. I don't have to, so, but it is really good lipstick. But love the base, Kim Gravel. Love the base, love the concealer and all that stuff. Went on really smooth, great color match. Nose is a little shiny. Oh, like I said, how many hours has it been? So I know I'm looking a little rugged, but and I'm tired, very tired. But anyway, so that, and then D. Louise, I think that's how you say it. Anyway, I hold these. I don't know, two or three weeks ago, and they're supposed to be um, non-tarnish, non-everything. Uh, anyway, you're supposed to be able to wear it all the time. Excuse me. Uh, yada, yada, yada. I've had these on for two weeks straight. Shower, the whole thing. I mean, have not taken them off. I think it's been two weeks, week and a half at least. But anyway, so this is um, like a herringbone. And then this is uh, what they call a paper clip, I think, chain. And then this little locket thing uh, has AJ on one side and Gracie on the other. That's my daughter's. So I have worn this hot, cold, shower, tugged on it, pulled it by accident, all that. And I'm really impressed. So update on those two. What else? My note. Oh, Olo markers. Loving, 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 loving those. So, um, okay, well, let me turn you down and um, start doing this wild random haul and uh, play catch up. So hang on a second. Okay, so grab yourself a Coke, a cup of tea, a whatever and settle in because it's a wild random haul. Let me just tell you. All right, well, if you don't like my wobbling, just mute it and then you can see the stuff. But a um, little wobbling here. You know, I'm a band mom, I'm the band chef, all that stuff. Um, wouldn't trade it for anything. We had a big band competition this past weekend. It was States and the Missouri State Marching Band Competition. Anyway, um, we came in second. So very proud of all that. Um, very long, long day. We left at, well, AJ and I, I think we're up at 5 or 5.30, loading up and getting ready. Um, I think the bus is pulled out at 6.30 or 7 and then on Saturday. And then we got home. I think two o'clock Sunday morning. So by the time I wound down, I actually tried to make a video because I was wound up and all that, but it didn't work. So ixnay on that one. So um, didn't do much today. No, Sunday. Uh, Monday, today I had to work and then tomorrow is my day off. And I'm hoping if I can stay at home all day tomorrow and not get out of the house, that will be the first time in several months. I mean, I'm gonna be, you know, I've got laundry to catch up on. I've got packing to do, you know, all that, but I just want to stay at home. Because, you know, if you have to go out, you have to put on your makeup, or you get dressed, and you go and do your things, and then, you know, the whole day's messed up. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So anyway, I'm hoping to stay at home and just get all the stuff done, or a lot of the stuff done that I need to get done. But I'll be home. <laughs> so, all right, where are we going to start? Let's just start with Dollar Tree. <laughs> it's closest, so let's just start there. Um, I think I had some time on my hands. To, I was waiting on AJ for something, and I thought, well, I'll just go to Dollar Tree. Why not, right? Let's see here. So, oh, clang, clang. Well, I've seen these haul, hauled, and I wanted to give them a try. Let me get this out of the way. Okay. Um, I don't know how to say the name. Spreacher? Spreacher? Spiritual? I don't know. I'm sure y'all will tell me. But anyway, it's um, soda. It's cream soda. So we have grape soda and we have orange dream. 
fire brewed craft soda made with honey, natural antioxidants, fire brewed craft soda. Anyway, those are pretty good size. But anyway, I've seen them hauled and um, out of Wisconsin, Glendale, Wisconsin, it looks like. And it says, however you say that, S-P-R-E-C-H-E-R brewery.com. Handcrafted, coffee free, caffeine free, <laughs> get my glasses on there, kosher, gluten free, scan for info, please recycle. Anyway, 33% more 16 versus 12 ounces. Anyway, I've seen these and I just, I want to give them a try. So cheers, we're going to give them a try. All right. Stay, everybody stay. All right. Let me grab a bag here. So what have you guys been up to? All right. So I'm always, some of this stuff I've already had to put away or I've already used. So I always get, um, they have all different flavors, brands of the drink mix. And I always go get a ton because I can't drink water without it. And I drink lots of water and this is the only way I can get it down. So anyway, there's that. And then, you know, a couple of hand soaps. Got that. And then um, a candle. This is really good. This is pumpkin spice. This is wizard. Um, the magic of fresh. Lasts up to 25 hours. But anyway, I, it smells really good. It does smell like pumpkin si spice. So I just thought that'd be, you know, great for the entryway or for the bathrooms or just wherever. So we love that. Okay. You can see all the sacks and everything that I have over here. <laughs> if somebody yelled fire, I'd just have to lay down and burn up because I don't think I'd get out here. All right, let me scoot up here. So I don't normally do things like this, but I did. I saw this. Cheetos mac and cheese, bold and cheesy flavor, new and improved recipe, new creamier sauce. And I'm sure it's extremely bad for you, um, but I wanted to give it a try. Like I said, it was just something came over me and I'm like, I want to try that. So I got it. I'll let you know. All right. I think probably best bet is just to pull this stuff out. So here's one of my favorites. That's one of my favorite, um, um, yeah, of choice. It's strawberry lemonade. But anyway, that's my favorite water additive of choice. Okay. I feel like I'm out of shape. I haven't been, I mean, yes, I talk a lot, but all the time. But I guess maybe I'm trying to talk fast to get all this in so it won't be extremely long for you guys. Um, I saw this composition notebook, and I don't know if you can see the sparkly, but it's very sparkly. Anyway, just a plain composition notebook. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. If I'm going to make it a journal or what, but it's by Jot. Um, very nice. I have, um, oh, the 70s looking ones um, that I'm using for band and different things. But I use these. Let me show you. Knock everything over. This is one that I have. Anyway, I reinforced it because I use it so much. This is my crafting uh, composition notebook. And it's just, it's the same. And I made little tabs, and so I've got video ideas, techniques, um, album ideas, crafty tips, card making, card making must-haves, um, things to remember, junk journal stuff, ink lists, um, just favorite things. Anyway, and then creativation when I was getting ready for that, making lists and um, different things. So anyway, these are really handy. There's my little color wheel, but these are fun. To use for whatever. I know, like I said, I have one for uh, my band. And anyway, so I'm sure I'll find a good use for this. I just thought that was just super cool. All right. And then, look at these. I just thought these were super fun. I mean, as for treat bags, for junk journaling, for whatever. Um, I mean, most of my journals are a little more on the, um, excuse me, vintage elegant um side i would say and not so much of the fun and dollar store look but um they can totally be used especially for kids you know trying to get them um excited about journaling and doing things but anyway i just had to pick them up so they had four different kinds and um just says lunch sack um six by eleven anyway just nice size 
just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. So I thought that was fun. And then there's a trick or treat. And there is how many? Six pieces in each one. And they're all the same. And then we have a happy Halloween. And a happy Halloween. So I just thought those were super fun. Right, I'm going to put these back in the sack because I have no room anywhere. Let's see what I can do there. And then I thought these were a lot of fun. Uh, treat bags, you get 20. So we have a little haunted house and some bats. And you get the little ties. And a little trick or treat. And we have our little cast of hoodlums there. And then some pumpkins and bats. So it says six inches wide and 10 inches high. And a little Mr. Skeleton Man with little bones everywhere. So I just thought those were lots and lots of fun. And, and then I just thought, I don't know, I just thought these were fun. They're just cute. I mean, look at all the different emoji faces. And I think I probably felt every one of these this weekend. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. The kids did so well. We're so proud of them. So very proud of them. But anyway, so these are Teaching Tree. So these were a lot of fun. So 94 stickers, foil, $1.25. I know, um, was it Crafty Girl that really gripes about that $1.25 red sticker in the middle of everything, which they've started doing. And then um, I didn't know that Dollar Tree had cake decorating stuff. Yeah, so um, anyway, I had to get them and try them. So there's three different tools here, and then each head is different. So large and small ball tool, uh, thins and ruffle edges, um, decorating pen, molding decorated decorative lace, and knife and needle tool, cuts and trims small decorations or release air bubbles, and fondant. Well, I'm darned. And they had this, an icing comb. So you get three pieces and it has different edges to help you do different things. So there's cut and they're smooth and I mean, I'm just a little, little shocked, a little surprised. So another teaching tree, stickers, dinosaurs, you know, I collect stuff. I, I don't know what it is about dinosaurs. Anyway, every time I see dinosaur stuff, I get it because I'm going to, uh, you know, for journals and albums and stuff. Uh, mainly albums, but anyway, how many do you get? 45 pieces there. And they're glittery. They have a little glitter on them. I don't know if you can see, but um, and then I hadn't seen these before. So Dr. Seuss, and this is the teaching tree. This is um, uh, border uh, decorating trim, deco trim. Anyway, Dr. Seuss. So you know I collect Dr. Seuss stuff too for albums. Um, and you get 10 pieces. It looks like they're all the same. But those would be fun to cut up and use for all different things. And then another set of stickers that actually are a little different. You see all the little different faces. This one has the different sizes. Kind of see the difference there, both by Teaching Tree. 108 stickers here and 94 in that one. But I just thought those would be a lot of fun. All right. And yes, I did pick up my hot tamales. Um, that's my my candy of choice when I'm traveling. Then I saw these. I was messing around on Amazon. And I don't know, I just, I just went a little crazy. And let me find a sharp object here. Oh, let's see here. I think I have, yep, have my, my opener here. I don't know if I'm going to use these for pour paint. I don't know if I'm going to use them for mixed media. I have some stencils by Stencil One, Ed Roth, which I love dearly. Um, hoping to maybe go see him in New York over the Christmas holiday season. We shall see. All right, so iridescent acrylic paints. I think this may have been kind of like the Cheetos. <laughs> Something just came over me. I like the packaging. But look at these colors. 
And you don't see them really well in here, I guess they're, but very cool. Let me see if we can, um, let me shake it up a little bit. Shake it, baby, shake it. Let's see if I have a safety. Oh, yeah. Um, oh. Well, they've got a cool safety on them, so um, we will swatch these. I'll get my little swatch book out. We will swatch them, and we'll see how iridescent they are. They don't look very iridescent, but I think it's because of the plastic. But it showed that they were extremely iridescent. Okay. What else do we have here? All right. I'm just going to grab this bag down here and see what we have. Maybe. Um, oh, let's see here. Okay. These are, I get these from the store, and these are check-in tag things, and we just leave them on mine because we're not going to reorder and all that. So, all right. So this is some fun stuff. Let's start with... My beautiful, beautiful friend, Miss Eileen Hull. So this is her latest release. Um, this is, there's 10 dies, uh, floral pocket and paper clips. So, well, you can't see, but you get a lot of dies there. Um, and we'll be using these pretty soon. And these all work together. So I'm very excited about that. You know, she kind of thinks this thing, these things through. She's um, She's been with Sizzix for a very long time. So this is 17 dies. This is uh, bookmarks, pockets, and toppers. So this, I'm excited about this. So you can make bookmarks with tags, actually. And so this, um, this is kind of funny. So this is a stamp set with all of these um, words and phrases. And it's called um, Fan Favorites. So what she did, oh, and you can see some little, these little, colored areas there um so she designed this line and they were like well we we have room for a, a stamp set and she's like oh okay so she asked her fans on her fan facebook page some words and phrases and so she picked from this list that everybody sent in their ideas and that's why it's called fan favorites so here's plans thoughts uh, wonder, inspiration, miscellaneous, uh, from the heart, life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful, yay for me, congratulations, I believe in you, I have your back, and appreciation, um, uh, think it over, take it easy, find the rainbow, is that not cool? Anyway, very, very neat. And then, a new 3D embossing folder, this is called, this is called Floral Damask. And I like that they're so big because, uh, and it'll fit through your regular machines, um, but you could do a, a um, slimline, mini slimline, um, and this is an A5 size. Um, you could do a, a 5x7 card, I mean, all kinds of stuff. So I like it that they're making them big, actually. And then you could even kind of pick out the area, you can see the design. Um, you could pick out different areas you know, if you're making one of these tags or something and you wanted just a little zhuzh, you could do that. If you wanted this in the middle of something, pick that area. That's got to be a lot of fun. And then this one has six dies. And this is called Charms. So you can see. So you could actually make these into um, earrings. This would be a nice size for earrings. Uh, you could cut these, um, use aluminum cans. Um, I know people do a lot of crafts with that. Um, make ornaments. I mean, all kinds of things you can do with this. Little danglies. Oh, Luigi's trying to come in. Good luck, Luigi. And this, Scoreboards XL. So this is going to make this album right here. <laughs> do you hear him trying to come in? So this is a Biggs, what they call a Biggs die. Okay. And um, anyway, this will cut through chipboard. It'll cut through multiple layers of paper. It'll go through your big shot uh, just fine. You take all the guts out of your big shot and then you, you just use a um, cutting plate, you know, your two like clear plates, one on the bottom and one on the top, and then send this through. 
So this is exciting. I'm really, really excited to do this. Luigi, where'd you go? Didn't know. <laughs> okay, so that's Miss Eileen's um, latest collection. And I am in a predicament, guys. I don't know where to put all this. Okay, let me stick this to the side for a second. All right, so Sizzix came, it just came out with a new um, line called Studio. It has this black labeling and stuff on it. It's pretty cool. Um, we're really going to get into this in a bit because all this is going to work with their stamping platform. Um, and I believe I've hauled that, but there is actually an extra add-on piece um, for the stamping flat platform to make it taller. So you could actually put a book under that and stamp it or stencil it. Anyway, we're going to get all <laughs> we're going to get into all that um, pretty soon. But this is this is brand new. Luigi, quit, quit. Um, like I said, this is called Studio. So this is designed by Cat Carr. Yeah. Oh, he's getting into, but he's fixing to get in trouble. Um, so there's layered stencils and stamp set. Um, looks like you got maybe. Six, six stencils and three stamps. I don't know. But anyway, here's a little picture of the stamping platform. But like I said, we're going to get into all of that pretty soon. And we'll and I'll open all these up and show you. And we're going to use it. I've got a um, a journal, a little journal that we'll use. Um, love this by Vic Hollis, Hollins, H O L L I N S. Um, so here's the stamps, and then here's the stencils. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Love that retro stuff. And look at the little boo-boo kitty. And then this is actually um, an add-on for um, stencils that are not this Sizzix Studio that you can convert. So, But like I said, we're going to get into this. I'm going to bring all of this stuff out. We're going to really dive into it. So there's that. Let me clear this off. Okay. Hope you can see well enough because I changed my other... No, nah, so you can't do that. I was trying to get that glare off without my shadow. Okay. Again, when I become a real YouTuber, I'll have better lighting or something. All right. All in Create. Love, 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 love. Just. Anyway, I've been a fan of them for a long time. Um, and they debuted their washi tape at Creativation. I came back to Shirley and I said, hey, this, this is going to be big. This is crazy good stuff. And reluctantly, she tried it and... We have been buying that stuff by the truckloads, let me tell you. Lots of fun. I made a video on um, the washi tape and different projects with it and stuff, so check that out. But um, anyway, and I have their latest release here. Oh, I'm so excited. But anyway, these are new also. This is um, this is double-sided design papers, they call it. A4 size, so 8.3 by 11.7 inches. Um... Anyway, it's different papers. You can, this is a sampling of it, but there's also cut aparts. And they really don't have names, they go by numbers. Um, time Tarnished Wonders. Okay, I've kind of lied there, but I always go by that number. So this is number nine. Um, and this is Bronze and Brassy Days. Uh, this is A5 size. So you have your different double sided papers, and then you have your cut aparts. And then here are some nostalgic brown, 41 pieces. Um, so these are all kinds of little film strips, little tags and things. And then this one, double-sided design number 10 times 10 design papers, number 11, rusty rhythms, um, and more cut aparts there. All right, let's put this. Ooh. <laughs> to the side somewhere. Okay. Okay. So, oh, I'm so excited. So I think this is the whole thing. I got the whole thing. So let's start with the dies. Um, and I've been into the Rolodex dies and things for a while. Lots of fun. Um, and so they're really getting hot and heavy into them. So this is number 69. All in Create. Uh, neighbor Woods. Anyway, so um, this shows you the actual dies. So here's the, um, and there's eight dies. Um, but anyway, this is like the Rolodex. Here's like a map for the Rolodex. And then here's little houses. And then this one, 
pinned with love it has 12 dies so you can see it has the outline and then it has an inside and then all the little dies there and same thing here this is number 70 this is star bolted sentiments okay so there's i love you thank you hugs and hello so there's 19 dies there Number 72, uh, Bubble Talk. So, because you have your bubbles. OMG, wow, oops. So it shows you all the different dies. I like that they do that. And number 73, this is Tear It Out. So these are um, little borders and things that you can use. Um, and there's actually the bottom of, like for the Rolodex, this, these little, this little bit right here. So there's actually a die that will cut that out, so you could use whatever. And then this one, Snowland, number 74. Very pretty. And you can use these on anything, on cards, um, anything, your scrapbook pages, the snowflakes, there's a little house, trees. And then this is an awesome fence. Loving that. Number 70. Picket border number 67. And last but not least, on these, this is called Dreamy Manor. So it could be a haunted house, it could be a gingerbread house, it could be whatever you want it to be. And there are there's one big die for this. All right. Yeah, I'm so excited. All right. So oh, before we start that, this, so it shows you all the different dies. Um Memory Dex card holder. So you put it together, you can decorate it so it comes in pieces like that. And then you put it together and then you can use all these dies in there. Isn't that not cool? And so and here's all the ones that I got and then a few more that are a little older. But um, anyway, uh, I'm so excited to try that. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. So it's a circus theme. And like I said, All in Create's not for everybody. It's a little different, but oh my gosh, it's so much fun. So I have Circus. Enjoy the show. We have the Canon. We have the, um, what do you call him? Um, the announcer, the MC, the master of ceremonies. What, um, yeah, him. <laughs> this is called the Big Top. And these are good sized dies, or stamps, I'm sorry. Oh, kind of hard to see with the pictures on there, but I mean, he's, this is him right here. And then we, <laughs> and there's five stamps here. So you have your strong man, you have your um, acrobatic girl. Are those not fun? Oh my gosh. And you have your clown and your mime. And then we have, let's clown around and smile. So I have two clowns there. And then we have our funny guy here. Clown D. So if you haven't met D yet, she is quite the character. There's a whole line of D. She's very sassy. I'm gonna have to stand up here a little bit. Okay. So welcome to my circus at Mint One. And now for something completely different. So that's Miss D dressed up. This is Miss D right here. And like I said, she comes in all. Oh, you'll just have to see. So there's a ticket booth, a fortune, so you can change that out. Um, Madam D, fortune teller. And then the cards on the table. Oh my gosh. Are those not fun? I mean, come on. These are fantastic. Oh, I love these. All right, let me grab something else. Okay, I found my other Dollar Tree sack. <laughs> All right. Yes, I had to get my hot tamales. Miss Dieta. Um, and then I was really surprised to see these. These are Disney. Dollar Tree. Disney villains. So these are, do they say these are cruise socks? It says 9 to 13, 9 to 13. Um, 2% spandex. Um, I'm sure, making sure they were adults, but, um, Anyway, so 
Yeah, look at these. Is that not crazy? And there's Cruella. This one's going off the deep end. And they like nice quality. And then Disney Looney Tunes. And then Lilo and Stitch. Um, I had to get Stitch. I My girls grew up watching that. And um, I just love that. But can you believe? I mean, Disney. That's crazy. So, anyway, of course, I had to get some for AJ because they're super fun and she's a super cool kid. And then, oh my gosh. Okay. So, they were just unpacking because my poor little store is always in such disarray. I mean, I've thought about emailing Dollar Tree and said, can... Can I just come in and after hours because I'm really fast and I'm good at organizing? And can I just... Anyway, okay. <laughs> I know they'd probably think I was crazy. They'd send the crazy police after me. Wrapping paper. Look at this. Is that not cool? So, uh, again, Disney. I mean, that's cray-cray. So, I yeah, I had to get a few. And then here's, whoops, let me turn this around. I got a little smashed here. Um, again, Disney. But we have Pocahontas and what's her name? And yeah, all the Disney princesses. Look at this. Of course, we love the redheaded princesses the best. Oh, uh, well, we love the Indian one too. But is that not crazy? I'm just trying to see what it says. Anyway, but yeah, I, I just had to partake. Okay, and, oh, don't fall, again, Disney, and look, it's like the vintage Mickey, uh, Minnie Mouse, let's see, it's all Minnie Mouse, she's like skating, and the trees, and look at that, that's cray cray, okay, come this way, then we have, let me turn this one around, so this is Rudolph, and that's the, the brand, I mean, like the real thing. And so it's like the, the real, it's the real Rudolph. Yeah, and the little dolls and the toys, the land of the misfits. What's his name? Um, oh, it's right there. Um, you, oh, I about said it. Anyway, y'all will tell me. <laughs> but anyway, is that not crazy? And then... Oh, I thought this was fun. So, and this is legit. Minions. Look at this. It's the real guys. There's no knockoffs. Isn't that crazy? Oh, I just had to. And then I saw this. This is a heck of a buy. Okay, so this was a $5 item. Okay, so that's just beautiful paper, which you could use, I mean, all year round. But look at the amount of paper that you get. Does it say? It says 167 square feet. 16.7 yards. Anyway, this is a lot. Oops, sorry, I'm crashing here. I think I got rid of it. Um, oh, no, I didn't. Hang on. Okay, sorry about that little unexpected interruption. Anyway, so this is like a heck of a deal. That is a lot of paper. Anyway, so I had to get that because, like I said, I mean, it's just red plaid. You could use that anytime. Come on, you know? I mean, you could use any of this anytime. I mean, I would. So, um, okay. Well, since it's we've been on here for quite a while, I'm going to cut this um, now, and then we're going to come back for part two, and I'm going to show you a bunch of other really cool stuff. So hang on, and I'll see you in a minute.